Hi Puffins, I hope you're all well. This week we've got a brand new book. Do you want to have a look at the front cover? Ooh, the title is Alan's Big Scary Teeth. And I know one little boy in our class loves this story. Let's see if we can see the picture to find out some more. We've got eyes, <gasps> got a mouth, got some teeth. It's a crocodile. Another crocodile story. Okay. I'm going to read you the whole story today. Then we've got some fun activities linked to crocodiles and other animals with big teeth this week. Are you ready? Let's begin. Alan came from a long line of very scary alligators. He was known throughout the jungle for his scaring. It was just what he did best. There's Alan. Oh, he does look a bit scary, doesn't he? Ooh. Alan would start each day by polishing his scales and sharpening his nails and brushing each one of his big scary teeth for at least 10 minutes at a time. And after practicing his frightening faces in the mirror, he'd sneak into the jungle for his morning round of scaring. Alan went snap, 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 and <laughs> he said things like, I'm big, scary Alan, fear my razor sharp teeth. Look scary. He made the frogs leap off their lily pads and the monkeys tumble from the trees and the parrots screeching in terrible terror. Snap, snap. <laughs> See them all running. <laughs> I love being scary, said Alan. After a long day of scaring the jungle animals, Alan would head back home to the swamp, relax, finish the crosswords in the jungle times. A little relax now, isn't he? He's not scaring anyone now. And he would take out his false teeth. His teeth aren't real. Nobody knew about Alan's false teeth. Shh, it's a secret. Good night, teeth. Three dreams, my scary snappers. Alan would say as he put them away carefully in his super secret hiding place. One morning, Barry the beaver was up early collecting the wood and came across a dozing Alan. Terrified that Alan might wake up and gobble him up whole, he quickly dived behind a bush. Phew! That was close, thought Barry. Just as a set of false teeth fell out of the bush with a very familiar snap, 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 snap. Oh, look, Barry's found Alan's teeth. When Alan awoke, his teeth were gone. My teeth! My teeth! Where are my teeth? What could he do? Maybe no one would notice. Could he still be scary about them? He decided to head into the jungle as usual. He made the frogs leap off their lily pads, the monkeys tumble from the trees, and the parrots screech. With laughter. They ain't scared anymore. Alan just wasn't very scary without his teeth. <laughs> Alan slunk back into the swamp. He'd never been more embarrassed. He came from a long line of scary alligators. Scaring was all he'd ever known. What would Alan do now? Poor Alan began to cry, just a bit at first, but then the tears came, kept coming. He howled and he yowled more than all the other jungle babies put together. He could not stop crying until... Next morning, all the animals turned up at Alan's swamp for his big scary teeth. We'll give you back your teeth, said Frog. Really? said Alan. On one condition, said Parrot, you need to stop scaring us. But what will I do? I don't know how to do anything else. We have an idea, said Frog. 